live stream thank you all for joining us for this live stream uh, we are still talking about foundations we are still talking about foundations uh, the first teaching was on blood in the foundation the blood of Abel that is crying in our foundations then the second teaching the second teaching was also about foundations a poor foundation, a weak foundation, and a strong foundation. So today we are we, we we just want to continue with that same topic. We just want to continue with that, that same topic. Um, as I was praying for God to give me more revelation on this topic, uh, God took me to the story of Abraham. God took me back to the story of Abraham in Genesis whereby the Lord uh, instructed Abraham to deal with his foundation, whereby the Lord instructed Abraham to deal with his foundation so that he could in turn bless him. In other words, the Lord was just trying to tell, to show us and to show Abraham that unless and until a, found, a poor foundation is dealt with, um, the Lord cannot bless us. The Lord cannot release a blessing upon our lives. We need to deal with our foundations first before the Lord can do anything for us in return. We need to deal with our foundations first. So I'm going to read from Genesis chapter 12 from verse 1. 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 If we have got someone who can type for us, if we have anyone who can type for us, Genesis chapter 12 from verse 1. Now, now the Lord had said to Abraham, now the Lord had said to Abraham, get out of your country, from your family, and from your father's house to a land that I will show you. Get out of your country, from your family, and from your father's house, to a land that I will show you. In other words, the Lord is saying to Abraham, get rid of your poor foundation. Move away from your poor foundation, that I may bless you. Why am I saying uh, Abraham's foundation was poor. Why am I saying Abraham's foundation was poor? If you read very well, you will find Kuti, uh, the Chaldeans 
who were uh, the kinsmen to Abraham, they were idol worshippers. Those people were strong idol worshippers. So in that case, Abraham's foundation is already poor because of idolatry. Maybe Abraham Ankatori was one of those people among his kinsmen, my worshipper, my idols. But the Lord is now choosing uh, Abraham to be a peculiar generation, a peculiar people from, from among the rest of these people. And he's saying, Abraham, you need to get away from this country. One, that was the first instruction. Abraham had to get away from his country. Why, why, why did the Lord say, "My right out Abraham Abve from his country"? The reason why God wanted Abraham to move from his own country is, in that same country, there were high places where idols were worshipped. In that same country, there were idols that those people worshipped. So the Lord is saying, if Abraham is to remain here in this country, he may be convinced at one point or the other to go back to those idols, to go back to those high places. So in order for, for him to, to not to go back to those idols and to those high places where idols are being worshipped, he has to move from this country. That's why God is instructing Abraham to move from from this country one then the Lord also said move from your people move from your people why does the Lord want Abraham to move from these people they are the very same people who are idol worshippers so if Abraham is to stick with these people he can still go back he can still um, relapse and go back to idol worshipping. So God is saying, cut ties with these people who are idol worshippers. You need to move away from them. You need to disconnect yourself from these people so that I can bless you. As long as you are in connection with these people, I cannot bless you. As long as you are in connection with these people, I'm not going to say anything to you. As long as you are in connection with these people there is no breakthrough that I'm going to release for you I'm talking to people we here we have to disconnect themselves from some of their relatives why because they are idol worshippers why because they still consult sangomas for help why because they still believe in traditional religions why because they have got a different religion to them Abraham is being chosen by God to be a peculiar person, to, to, to produce a peculiar generation of people who are going to worship and serve God wholeheartedly. And for Abraham to achieve that, Abraham has to disconnect with his past foundation. He has to move away from his weak foundation. And in order for him to move from that weak foundation, he has to disconnect him, himself from the people he used to associate with in the past. Maybe he had friends in that area. Maybe he had relatives, brothers and sisters and aunts in that area. But God is saying you have to move away from these people. You have to disconnect yourself from these people. As long as you are connected to them, I'm not going to release a blessing upon you. We want to see we want to see the kind of life that Abraham was living at that time because of this very foundation, the foundation of idolatry, the foundation of idol worshipping. What kind of a life was Abraham living at that time? One, Abraham was still living in his father's house. He was not a landlord. Under Asina, a, a, a land that, that, that had his name on it, one, Two, Abraham was too barren at a very at a very old age. Abraham was too barren. Anka asinamana. I want to 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 to, to just to, to enlighten you on some of the implications and some of the consequences that we may suffer because of poor foundations, because of idol worshiping, because of idolatry. Abraham is still living in his father's house. One, Abraham is still barren. 
I want to talk about this barrenness in a different way. Yes, he was barren because he didn't have children. But some of us here are barren, not, not in the literal sense, but we are barren. One, you, 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 you try and to do a lot of things, but they are not fruitful. Your hands, they are not fruitful. Whatever you touch with your hands does not become fruitful. In that sense, you are barren. So if you are barren, I want you to check. I want you to check on your, on your foundation. I want you to check on your foundation. Is your foundation uh, pleasing to God? Or your foundation is disgusting and it's gross before God? Is your foundation pleasing to God or your foundation is gross and disgusting before God? Maybe the reason why you are trying everything and it's not just producing is because your foundation is poor. You have got a weak foundation. Idol worshipping is one sin that God cannot forgive anybody for. Because the Bible says he is a jealous God. He doesn't want to share his glory with anybody else. So the moment you begin to worship idols, God will, will, will remain silent. He shuts his mouth and he doesn't speak upon your life. So I just want you to check. I just want you to check your foundation. The reason, the other reason why God would have loved Abraham to move from his father's house. Uh, now I'm talking to people who are listening to me here. Maybe Uchiruku Gara in a family house. Maybe Impa Yakaba Kwana Sekuru. My parents are Gara Imomo. And you are also living in that same house. Dova Mantuku Dakuta Uranavo right now. Uh, let me say this. You don't know the foundation of that house. You don't know what is in the foundation of that house. You don't know how your grandfather or your father got that house. Long back, kwanda kune jainzi company houses, zimba zaipi wanema companies, maybe to our grandfathers and to our fathers. You don't even know what those people did to get those houses. Vamwe vaka uraya ma colleagues, vamwe vaka uraya ma workmates, kuti vawane zimba izozo, and you are still staying in that house. Yet the foundation of that house already has blood in it. The foundation of that house already has someone's life in it. One, two, muzimba izozo, mune ma idols I worship you. Mune mizimu ya ideketere wa imomo, mune fujka zaidi wa pasi, mune ropa raimu ya wakumaziro. Because our grandfathers and our fathers, vashinji vachona, they were not Christians. They believed in African traditional religion. So you find kuti in that house, there were a lot of things that happened in that house. That is the reason why God is saying to Abraham, you need to move from your father's house so that I can bless you. Some of you, you are going through many battles. You are going through many hard times. You are going through difficult times. You are going through dry seasons. But maybe the reason why you are going through that is because the foundation the foundation of the houses that you are living in is poor. It's filthy. Ameno kana pano andruku batsira. Ameno kana pano andruku batsira maneru anu. Marivaru kutu kwa uri Abraham. You have to move from your father's house. Kana uchiruku garamu family house. This is what the Lord is saying. You have to move from your father's house because the foundation of that house is poor. You don't even know the foundation of it. Maybe payaka vako ngosa tuwato mbosharwa. You don't even know what your father did. Vachitanga kuvaka imba yoyo. Inina I know. Babere kivedu, vanga vane sisi meguti kana aku daku vaka imba, aku daku vaka musha. Kwa idazwa, kwa idazwa kana nganga, kana masangoma. Shava shanzi ngei uye ise woko, patru kudaku chera foundation. Ye kusimbi sa musha. Enti woko iyo yo ichi lukuta ura. Ameno kana muru kunti bata shwa kanaka. For that same reason, dosa kamarwa kutikuna abra move from your father's house. 
some of the battles you are fighting are just because of the house that you are living in. Even those who are tenants, you have to be very careful. Some of these houses, their foundations are very poor. Their foundations are very filthy and disgusting before God. I don't know if I'm helping somebody. I don't know if I'm helping somebody. Abraham, you have to move from your father's house so that I can bless you. Some of you have to change your location. You have to change your, 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 your dwelling, your, resident, your place of residence for God to begin to speak and for God to begin to bless you. Abraham, I change location. Zorot, location, you know, gonna cook, a weak foundation, you know, gonna a poor foundation in someone's life. I don't know if I'm ministering to somebody. I don't know if I'm ministering to somebody. Abraham, move, move from your father's house. Move from your country. When you come out, we're in Tom, we never alters. Anona Matwashi Tori. When you come out, we're in Tom, we never alters. Enganga. When you come out, we're in Tom, we never alters. I know the rule of Fort Ganana Securovaco and Naba Bavaco. Mubama Uku Garantom, Neuva, Yaiti Securu Canavaco de Catera Mizimo, I know Kanda Fort Gapachifu, Papa Chikova, Vachi de Catera Vachitaura. You have to move from this house. You have to move from this country. So, how, how then are we supposed to deal with, with our foundations? How was Abraham supposed to deal with this poor foundation? One, get thee out of that country. Get thee out of that country. This, is, this means changing of location. Changing of location. Abraham had to change location. Some of you have to change your location. You have to change your place of residence. Some of you even have to change your place of work. Why? Because foundation may be a kubasa kwa kocha yu itori week. Kutu wane basa yu ro wakatango warara na boss. So you have to change that workplace. You have to, to, to move. You have to change location. One, get thee away from your kindred. Amazakwe is Abraham, don't know no matter she tori. Ukarambo, Okarana, don't know gonna kuku convince, I could tell you to kuna matter she tori. So you have to disconnect yourself from them. You have to disconnect yourself from them. Then some of these, some of these family houses, they are altars. Some of these family houses, they are altars, like I said before. You do not know how they built them or how they got them. Pamwe maricha yo yo kuti vazo vaka impa yo yo vaka uraya munu. You know, long ago people used to do a lot of things. Vai gona kuuraya. Jonzi ropa iro rondori chashanda kuti uvake imba. Ropa iro rondori chashanda kuti uvake musha. So some of these houses, some of these homesteads, they are altars. Atori ma altar zane ropa riku chamber already in the foundation. Dosa kama rivaru kuchukuna Abraham, you have to move. Then Abraham anzi move. When the Lord said up to Abraham move. The, 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 mis, the only mistake that you can make when you are trying to deal with your poor foundation, the only mistake that you are going to make when you are trying to deal with your poor foundation is to leave some residues in that foundation. Kusi ya jimwe jinu, usina kujibvisa, pa foundation ya uru kuziba kuti iri poor. What am I saying? Tinana ruti varipanu. Arku zoti mubeda wantino rari rampa mangu. Ndaka utenge wanaba bankeno. 
Yembe zandiru kufeka. Ndaka titenge wana baba ningi. Maria rentu pamba pandiru kugara. Jino badari wana baba ningi. Already this is a poor foundation. That is going to speak and testify against any relationship. That this Ruth is going to try to get into. Even Ruth we are so forgotten to put up settler. I now want to get married. These things are going to be a poor foundation, and they are going to be a voice that is going to testify against any relationship. Abraham, God said you have to move from your kindred. The mistake that Abraham made was to carry Lot with him. Even Maria, to deal with your poor foundation, Abraham, you have to leave all your kinsmen. You have to leave all your relatives. But Abraham is carrying Lot with him. When you now want to deal with your foundation, when you now want to dig and destroy that poor foundation, you don't have to leave any residue. You are supposed to get rid of it all. Kana uru kuziva kuti foundation yako iri poor. Nekuda kwe chifa ambicha wanga uchimbo ita. Jese shwa waka wana kuburiki za nechi fambichi. You are supposed to get rid of it. I don't know kuti imari ere. I don't know kuti i business ere. I don't know kuti mu beda ne stovu ne property emu mpa shwa waka tenge ruwa ere. I don't know kuti i embe ne jese shuri wardrobe shwa waka tenge ruwa ere. But when you 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 are now saying I want to deal with this poor foundation. I want to get rid of this weak foundation and start afresh on a strong foundation. Then you have to get rid of those things. You have to get rid of all those things. Why am I saying this? Holding on to, to, to a foundation that God is saying, let go of it. One, it will, it will stop God from speaking. Jino mi sama arukuti vataure pa msorope upenyu wako. If you are going to read well the story of Abraham, as long as Abraham was with Lot, God did not say anything about the promises that he had made to him in the beginning. Vakarampa vakanyara aramari. Kushika je, rinoita, rinoita onjo pakatipe vafudziva Abraham ne vafudziva Lot. Abraham of that, we cannot fight, we are brothers. Let us part ways. You will choose where you want to go, and I will go the other way. The Bible then says, after that Lord had separated from Abraham, God said to Abraham, So if you are going to leave any residues, Kurampa waka batiri rapa foundation ya kudara. It will only stop God from speaking. It will delay the promises of God upon your life. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. Holding on to a poor foundation and having carry overs from a poor foundation will only delay God's promises upon your life. Yes, the promise was there. But because Lot was still sticking to Abraham, God could not speak. And God could not fulfill that promise. So the problem that you are going to make when you, are now, you now want to deal with your foundation is to have some residues. Kusia jimwe jinu. Jinoku attached to that past foundation. What are some of those things? Let us give examples. Unanya so ziva iyo kuti wanga uri pfambi. Mamutori nene nema WhatsApp groups enyu muri pfambi kudaro. Mamutori nema groups enyu se shamari muchi pfamba mese. The moment that whatever shoko, I want to get rid of this poor foundation, but these friends, if they remain sticking in your life, then you haven't dealt with that poor foundation. The poor foundation is still there. So I'm talking to people who need to disconnect from some people so that God can start to speak in their lives.
those people that you are holding on to, they are part of the poor foundation that you have. But we watch on Java. It was Kukuru Zira. But it does not have a bad name. It has a bad name. Mary, I was going to watch you, but you are not here. But we watch on Java. It was Kukuru Zira. But you are not going to hear. You are not going to see. It is. You are going to enjoy. It is relationship. It is perfect. We are not going to change. It is not going to change. So the moment you are saying now I want to deal with this foundation and you still hang out with those friends, I will start to attend to deal with the foundation. You need to disconnect yourself from the people who were there in your past who encouraged you into building on that poor foundation. That lot in your life must go. That lot in your life must go. Maybe we never know why Tampa na avokubasa, but I could not see it all right. You know, for a paya kasungi rirwa, mukatanga kubamuri mese. That's a poor foundation ya wakatanga. But now, when you 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 are saying you want to deal with the poor foundation, you have to disconnect yourself from those people. Why? Because if you continue hanging around with them, they may convince you to go backwards. They may convince you to backslide. They may convince you to go back to that poor foundation. I don't know if I'm helping somebody. I don't know if I'm helping somebody. So the first step that you are supposed to make when you want to deal with a bad foundation is to deal with Evil soul ties. You have to deal with evil soul ties. Abraham had an evil soul tie with Lot. So even when God himself had instructed him to leave all his relatives and go to a land that he was to tell him, Abraham still carried Lot along with him. Anybody who is connected to you but is against the will of God and is contradicting your faith and belief in God and in Jesus. That person is an evil soul tie that you have to cut, that you have to disconnect from. Imagine, it's God himself who gave Abraham the instruction to part with all his kinsmen. But God is going, Abraham is going against God's will. So that they remain together with Lot. Already it's an evil so tie. As long as it is going against the will of God, it becomes an evil so tie. As long as that friend of yours, Achimbo kuti ngachimbo shika kubawa. Zwaku shamisire iko nasi isuta imbo enda tese. That's an evil so tie that you have to cut. As long as that friend of yours is too saying, Ah, kocha niku mbo enda kwa sekuru kodobo riva ya wakampo tibetera paya. That person is an evil so tie that you have to disconnect from. Lot, I told you, kumuria abrami. They worship idols. So, my right to Jesiva, which if I'm going to, uh, to bless Abraham now, while this Lot is still there, Abraham may backslide and begin to worship idols again. So, I cannot bless him. Kushika Aparazana na Lot, then I can bless him. So if you are holding on to old friends, yet you are saying you want to deal with the poor foundation of the past, then I will start to attack. You haven't started dealing with that foundation yet. There are people here who are listening to me. You are married, but you still feel it. With your with your ex boyfriends, you still feel it with your high school. Uh, with your high school lovers. That's an evil so tie that you have to disconnect from. Alright, before before I even begin to speak of, of, of high school lovers and ex-boyfriends, let me say this. Some of you got married. Matombo nyudwa gejo. Panema gejo akawanta angatombo nyura mamuri. 
All those are so ties. Right now, Urukusha Misika, with the marriage, Yangu say Irkuvava. Say marriage, Yangu Irkusheka. Marriage, Irkusheka, because Pane Foundation, Yama so ties a Makaita Kudarai. Pane Foundation, Yama Covenants a Makaita Kudarai. Because sexual intercourse and intimacy with anybody is a blood covenant and if you are not going to deal with that covenant if you are not going to deal with those soul ties the foundation remains poor and the house the structure will continue to shake my soul ties are they are just like lot in your life if you are not going to deal with them they will always come into your future to haunt you. If you are not going to deal with the poor foundation right now, it will always come to haunt you in your future. Listen, Abraham carried a lot with him. And because of that, there are a lot of things that he had to go through just because Lot was with him. The first battle that Abraham faced because of sticking with Lot was the strife that arose between, uh, between Lot's headsmen and his own headsmen. Some of the battles that you are fighting, they are unnecessary. But th you are fighting them because you are sticking around with the wrong people. Because you are sticking around with people who should belong in your past. Lot was supposed to belong in Abraham's past. But Abraham is carrying Lot into his future. And because of that, there is no strife. Papa Fudziva, Abraham never Fudziva Lot. And Abraham has to deal with this. I don't know who I'm talking to. But there, 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 there are some tensions that you are facing, some battles that you are fighting, not because you, you were supposed to fight them, not because you were ordained to fight them, but because you are sticking around with the wrong people. You are sticking around with the people who helped you to build a, 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 a poor foundation. You are sticking to, 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 to that poor foundation in your past. One, there was safe. Pakati peva futzva Abraham neva futzva lot. Kusikira shake Abraham ato zote aiwa. Atinga arui because we are kinsmen. You want to choose the kwa urukuda kwenda. In doing all the other way. That's how they resolved the issue. But still, kune zimwe onto futi zaka zor guiwa na Abraham. Neguta anga atakura lot mwarima mpoti amsi. Let's look at that battle. Let's look at that battle. Genesis, Genesis 14, verse 14 to 16. Genesis 14, Genesis 14, verse 14 to 16. Now, now, when Abraham heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his 318 trained servants who were born in his own house and went in pursuit as far as Dan. He divided his forces against them by night, and he and his servants attacked them and pursued them as far as Robert, which is north of Damascus. So he brought back all the goods, and also brought back his brother Lot and his goods, as well as the women and the people. I don't know if I'm, I'm, I'm ministering to somebody tonight. There are some battles that you are fighting right now because you didn't you, you left some residues in the foundation that you were supposed to deal with once and for all. If Abraham had left Lot in, in, in Ur, 
He was not going to, 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 to fight this battle. This was an unnecessary battle in Abraham's life. Because God had instructed him to leave all his relatives. But because he carried Lot, when Lot gets captured, when Lot, when Lot is, 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 is raided, Abraham had to fight in defense to defend Lot. I don't know, can I work on this one? There are some battles that you are, you are fighting right now because there is a lot who is ticking in your life. Because there is a lot who is hanging in your life. But when you lot watch on a friend, friend Yako from high school, a man from primary school, and you are hanging on to that friend. But she is a poor foundation. And because of her, there are some unnecessary battles that you are fighting. But you just cannot let go. And because of that, you are going to fight unnecessary battles because of them. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. So what am I saying? The first and greatest step that you will ever make when you want to deal with a weak foundation is to disconnect yourself from the people who belong in your past. But the moment you said, I accept Jesus Christ as my savior, you were supposed to disconnect from them because you are now two, you are now two opposites. There is no, 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 no relationship between light and darkness. As you feel, as long as what you now belong to the light, darkness has to go. Yes, my boy, what are messy? But now, when you are saying, "I want to start afresh on a stronger foundation," let them go and drink their beer. Let them go and have their alcohol. Is who start with a shepherd, Jesus? Second Corinthians five verse seventeen. Second Corinthians five verse seventeen. Second Corinthians five verse seventeen. And skuda shangu kumbwa manya kana kunya insakuita roja. Second Corinthians chapter five verse seventeen. Therefore, therefore, come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch what is unclean, and I will receive you. Therefore, come out from among them. This is the same instruction that God gave to Abraham. Come out from among them and be separate. Says the Lord, do not touch what is unclean, and I will receive you. So, if you are, you want to deal with a, your poor foundation, you want to deal and get rid of that foundation. Whoever was there, which when you were getting into that mess and was encouraging you, you are supposed to disconnect from them, because what? And one time or the other, they may convince you to go back there. So you have to separate yourself. You have to disconnect yourself. You have to 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 to. Urubu fan ruaku dampura masoltai zai. Every evil soul time. So what am I saying? If you are married, if you are married. But you know, but you come ashura uku. Pane magedja kawanta akambo nyurap. You are going to deal with all those soul ties. That's the poor foundation that you made for your marriage, and now you have to deal with all those soul ties so that you strengthen the foundation of your current marriage. How are you going to do that? You are going to mention them one by one. 
Whomever we are you are going to mention them one by one, and you are going to cut that soul tie. You are going to disconnect yourself from them. You are going to delete their contacts from your phone book. You are going to stop flitting with them. Only then can you say, I have dealt with this foundation. When dealing with, 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 with your foundation also, when dealing with your foundation also, there are some places that you have to avoid going to now. I know some of you, your, your, your foundation is poor because maybe you used to, to club. Because maybe you used to drink and my end akuma clubs, my end akuma bawa. Now that you are, you are saying you want to deal with that foundation, these are the same places that you now have to avoid going to. These are the places that you have to avoid going to. Those clubs, those beer halls, visiting those friends, you have to disconnect from them and you have to avoid visiting those places. That's the only way you are going to deal with the, that foundation. You know, Mari, Vaito Ziva, Kuti Abraham, Akaramba, Akagaramunika, you know. Achava convinced the chete kutarampa achinama tashitori. Achava convinced the chete kutarampe achi believe am religion ye amadzake. So if if I am to bless him, he has to deal with this foundation and move away from it and move away from anybody who believes in it. So if you want to do with your foundation, disconnect yourself from anything that connects you to that past poor foundation. I don't know if, if, if I've ministered to somebody. I don't know if I've ministered to somebody. I'll give another good example of someone who failed to deal with their foundation. The story of Rachel. Rachel Aharorwa na Jacob. Aharorwa na Jacob. There is a time when Jacob says, now I want to go back to my own country. In the process of packing their belongings, Rachel took an idol that belonged to her father and she carried it along with them. And when Laban realized that his idol had been taken, he pursued them. He pursued Jacob and his men. He pursued Jacob and his family. As long as you are not going to deal with your poor foundation, with your past, and as long as you are not going to get rid of everything that belongs to your past, your past will always pursue you, and your past will always haunt you. And because Rachel is sticking to this idol, Laban is now pursuing them. Not only that, but because she is holding on to that idol, Russia remains barren. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. What is it that you are hanging on to, that you have to let go to, to totally get rid, to totally blot out, to totally destroy the poor foundation that you have. Who is the Lord in your life that you have to let go? What is the idol in your life that you have to let go? Some of us, yes, we repented, but we still, we still, we still, we are still in groups that we used to be in before we repented. Kunaman who are watching me right now, we could panama groups our friend Raquita disconnect yourself from dirty filthy groups, 
Sekuti even kuti umwe munhu abate phone yakho avhure. Unotonyara. You have to 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 exit such groups. Kuna vanhu vari pano who are watching me. Bekuti Yes, what what I to uka, but Mugala remark right now, Makazara pornograph, Makazara ma videos a pornograph. That is the lot in your poor foundation that you have to deal with. There are some people who have got things that they have to delete totally from their phone galleries. There are some people who have contacts that they have to delete from their phone books. This whole week, we can attack up in there. We are going to be dealing with foundations. So if you want to deal with your foundation, you are supposed to disconnect yourself from the past. That is the first step. Let's see. Let's see what God promised Abraham. Let's see what God promised Abraham. If he doubt, if, if, Mwari wari kupromisa chiku na Abraham kana akwanisa kudzina ne foundation yake. Chicha vaka promisa kuna Abraham. Genesis chapter 12. Genesis chapter 12. Genesis chapter 12. Genesis chapter 12, verse 2. I will make you a great nation. I will make you a great nation. One. I will bless you. Two. And make your name great. Three. And you shall be a blessing. Four. I will bless those who bless you. And I will kiss him who kisses you. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. I want you, I want you to, 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 to read again those two verses. Verse 2 and 3. Genesis chapter 12, verse 2 and 3. I will make you a great nation. Mind you that Abraham is barren. Abraham is barren, but God is saying, if you deal with your foundation, I'm going to make you a great nation. Already, Abraham is being promised the greatest breakthrough that he expected in his life at his age. So if you are expecting a great breakthrough in your life, Whatever you are expecting from God right now, you have to deal with your foundation first. This promise is coming after God had instructed Abraham could leave your country, leave your kinsmen, leave your father's house. Then I will bless you. I will make you a great nation. One great breakthrough that Abraham ever expected in his life was having a child. And God is saying, I will make you a great nation. Meaning, Abraham is going to have a lot of kids, a lot of children. That breakthrough that you are expecting, I don't know what the breakthrough is. God is saying, deal with your foundation first. Disconnect yourself from that poor foundation first. Then I will begin, we will begin to talk. Yes, Tsanya. Wangu tinga nama chati kweta ma all night prayers. Tikuwa kwira gomo. But if the foundation is not dealt with, then we haven't started. Tinenge chisa tatanga. So marwakuti, if you manage Abraham to deal with your foundation, I'm going to make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great. Meaning if a foundation is not dealt with, our names will remain buried. Our names will remain unannounced. Ameno kanapano andru kutaura nae. If a poor foundation is not dealt with, 
your name will remain buried. You will never be known. Your name will never be announced. Because God is saying to Abraham, I will make your name great. So if you want God to make your name great, you have to deal with your foundation. You have to deal with your foundation. I will bless those who bless you. Zone wa kuti kana company auno shantira iri yo ino ku bless. Mwari vacha bless a company yo kuti inyatso kuchi ku bless. Ameno kana ukundinzwa. I will bless those who bless you. Aropa fadzwa nekuda kwe kuti akuropa fadza iwewe. Obvious acha rapa achikuropa fadza and acha kuropa fadza zviri nani expecting God to bless him even more in return. And I will curse him who curses you. Meaning you you will not have to fight any battles on your own but God himself will start to fight your battles. If you deal well with your foundation, God is going to fight your battles while you wait, you watch to see his salvation. And in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So, when Lot had departed, when Lot had departed from him, that's when God began to speak. When you have dealt with your foundation, when you have destroyed your poor foundation, then God will begin to speak in your life. When God when when you have dealt with the poor foundation of your business, then God will speak begin to speak in your business. When you have dealt with the poor foundation in your marriage, then God will begin to speak in your marriage. And this kuziva, and this kuziva kana pane abatsirika, and this kuziva kana pane wanda batsira manerwanas. Ameno kana pane wanda batsira, ameno kana pane wanda batsira manerwanas. Ameno kana pane abatsirika manero ano. So the war of this coming week. We are going to be dealing with foundations. We are going to be praying against poor foundations. So before we embark on these prayers, I just want you individually to begin to, to reflect, make introspection. Look at your past. What is it about your foundation that you need to deal with right now? Maso taizere kukata. Ma covenants are all found to break. My friends are all found to disconnect from. Are you supposed to change location? Are you supposed to change your environment? Tisa 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 tanga tisa tapinda pama prayers earlier this week. I want you. I just want you to do that. I just want you to do that. I want you to begin to look at your foundation. I want you to begin to look at your foundation. If you are married, I also want you to begin to look at your husband's foundation. I want you to begin to look at your spouse's foundation. If you are in a relationship, I want you to begin to look at your fiance's foundation. And we want to deal with those as we embark on our prayers for this week. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for tuning into this live stream. God bless you. I love you, but God loves you more. I love you, but God loves you more. Let's just share this live stream. Let's just share this live stream. It may help somebody. It may help somebody. Thank you very much. Be blessed. May the blood of Jesus cover you as you sleep. May you always dwell in the shadow of the shelter of his wings. In Jesus' mighty name. I pray a hedge of fire around you, a hedge of fire around everything that concerns you, a hedge of fire around your children. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Thank you very much. God bless you.